Hey guys, Tim here with Otaku Hall number four, episode four, whatever. Uh, I figured I'd do a different angle. I've been doing the same angle from my desk for quite a while now, so uh, let's take a look at the manga wall behind me as a change of scenery, all right? Uh, I'm too lazy to set up a camera and use a tripod, so I just use my phone most of the time. So it's going to be a haul as well as a vlog on what I've been watching and a little bit of what I've been reading since I haven't been doing much of either lately. So, uh, let's get on with it. First, we're going to get wall scrolls out of the way. Today I went on a shopping spree. Well, a mini shopping spree, really. I only spent around $70 total today, and I really haven't bought that much. But nonetheless, we're adding to my wall scroll collection, bringing me ever so closer to my goal of 50 wall scrolls. We have yet another Tenjul Tenge wall scroll. As you can see right here, we have Aya, Maya, and Soichiro. Uh, Soichiro, and this is my second ever um, uh, Tenjul Tenge wall scroll. Uh, now, I'm a pretty big Tenjul Tenge fan. I read all the series. I have all 11 of the uh, full contact edition omnibus from Viz Media. So. I like the series, it's good. I like it better than Air Gear personally, though I know a lot of people like Air Gear better. Uh, I just feel that Tenjo Tenge is done better and I like it more. I also have ten, uh, Old Great's Silky Whip work, which is what he done before Tenjo Tenge, and I'm not even going to get in on that, so let's get on with it. Next up, we have another wall scroll. I kind of bought this one for my brother because he wanted it and he was with me, but it's going to be in my house anyway he just basically I was like alright so what do you want to get and his like uh, this wall scroll and I was like alright we'll get that and whatever so let's get on with it and it is a love he not wall scroll now I'm guessing it's fairly old because uh, love he not is an older series and I'm pretty sure nothing recent has been made of it not even dojinshi or anything like that so here we have it um, now, for those of you that do not know, I happen to have right over here the complete box set with the uh, box and all sets of DVDs. And I got this for $9. Uh, it was a great deal. And I also have the entire manga volumes 1 through 14. It's right here. Uh, I haven't read all the manga and I haven't watched the anime, though my brother is really in love with the series. Personally, I like uh, Ken Akamatsu's other works, such as AI Love You and Nagimai. I like those a little better than Love Hina because Love Hina, uh, while I like it, I couldn't read that much into it because I, I'm honest, I got kind of bored with it actually. Uh, next up, we have uh, the anime that I bought. Uh, I didn't get much anime this time around, but I did, however, get Oh My Buddha. Now, I started looking for this one about a week or so ago, actually. I haven't been looking for it long because uh, I basically watched the GR, uh, GL, no, GR Arcana uh, review of it, and I decided to get it because he said in the video that it's rare and kind of hard to find, and all that and I bought the whole series for $12 so I'm really lucky I tracked this one down at my local anime store that's an hour and a half away uh, it's not really local if it's that far away so uh, anyway we also have uh, Case Closed Season 2 now I recently got done watching all of Season 1 about two weeks ago or whatever and I've been itching and itching to get the rest of the seasons that are out in America which is all the way up to Season 5 uh, I hope we get more seasons over here, actually, because I really love this series. And Japan is all the way past season 16, uh, because it's been going on since 1997. And one day I plan to get on with the uh, Case Closed manga as well. But here we have season 2, uh, the save editions. They're pretty cheap, like $22. I could get it cheaper, and like if I went to a Hastings, they're actually cheaper there. But I choose to support my local anime store to keep them in business. So, yeah, that's why I pay a couple of dollars more for some of my stuff. Though sometimes you can get really great deals, like their wall scrolls are only $13, whereas at conventions they're $16, $17 normally. So, that being said, 
it's give and take with anime stores. It really varies. I've been in about three or four of them, and the, the prices really vary a lot from store to store, and what they carry. Uh, I also got today, it's not anime or manga related, but I got Ancient Aliens Season 2 from Walmart. Really happy to have this. I bought Season 1 about three days ago, and I've watched all the episodes on it probably two to three times within these last three days. So I'm really happy to have Season 2. I hope they release the rest of the seasons on DVD soon, or where I can track them down more easily than going to History's website and ordering them. Uh, that's a side of me that probably none of you knew about, is I really like learning and documentaries and all that. So, that being said, I think that's pretty much all that I've bought recently, or even today. Uh, I've had to cut down on spending a lot because I haven't been working within the past three weeks. Uh, uh, well, within the last three months, I've probably only worked about three weeks of that, and I haven't got a 40-hour paycheck in months. So my spending has really dropped a lot recently over this part of the year. So it's not anywhere, anywhere near what it was last year whenever I was spending a seven, eight, nine hundred dollars every week on anime and manga. But uh, whenever work picks back up, I will be buying a lot more then as well. As well as saving for uh, me another house and more vehicles and stuff like that. Uh, I'm looking into about two or three other vehicles that I want. So... That being said, away from my personal life, we're getting on to Shikibana Hime. I'm on the final disc, almost have it completely watched. Really enjoying it. I don't see why people say it's bad. All I've heard is bad things about the Shikibana Hime anime, which I kind of thought might be true because I personally read the manga first, and I enjoy the manga a lot more, but the anime seems to follow the manga pretty well, in my opinion. So... I don't really see why people think it's bad. It's actually a really good story, and the animation isn't that bad, and the voice acting is great because it's uh, Funimation. But Shikibana Hime, I don't understand why people say it's bad. I actually like it. Uh, next up, we have Kano Kon. Uh, Kon. No, Kon. Yeah, so the complete series. I'm on disc three, which is the final disc, and I nearly have this completely watched. Uh, this is another series I've heard mostly bad things about and that's mostly about the dub now I'm actually watching it in the dub all I've heard is bad things about the dub and I really don't see anything bad that I want to bash on about the dub actually because uh, I, I have to admit about four episodes in I just hated the dub I thought the voice acting was terrible I didn't think it suited the characters but around four or five episodes into it I got to where I was like Oh, well, this isn't too bad. I actually like this dub, and uh, I feel it suits the characters, and I don't think it's bad at all. So uh, that's another mixed opinion kind of thing. I like it. Other people don't. So uh, that being said, I didn't like it at first, but I grew. it grew on me uh, just as well as, uh, let's see here. We have the Bastard Anime from Pioneer. This is another old one. Um, I hated the voice acting on that one at the beginning, but it grew on me and I grew to like it. The same way with Berserk. Uh, I didn't exactly enjoy that too much, but give it some episodes and it grew on me and I enjoyed it. So, that being said, we're moving on to manga. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, despite my huge backlist of manga that I need to read, I have not been reading much. I have been busy with other things. So we have the only thing that I've been reading recently since I finished uh, all catching up on my Cage of Eden volumes, and that is Haganai, I Don't Have Many Friends, um, uh, volume three. Uh, I am only one chapter into this one. I finally finished all of volume one and two, and I finished those a while back, so it was cool to catch up on this one a little bit. I think, yeah, I'm only one chapter into this one. Uh, but I will talk a little bit about the chapter. Basically, uh, they're trying to make people, they're trying to become more funny, that way they, get, they can gain more friends, because funny people have a lot of friends, allegedly, and all that. So I thought it was really funny whenever, uh, what's her name? Uh, God, I haven't read this series that much, and I haven't taken the time to remember anyone's name, except for Senna, because... Uh, Yuzora, yeah, that's her name. 
Yuzora dresses up as Senna and basically makes a lot of fun of her, and I just thought that was hilarious, and I really enjoyed that part of this manga chapter. It was really good. Another part I liked is when uh, the male protagonist was telling stories, and they was just ridiculous and not funny, and it was great to see Senna and Yuzora's uh, reactions to that. I really enjoyed that as well. And that's all I've read into it. I haven't been reading much manga as far as English volumes. I have, I have, however, been catching up on some of my Japanese volumes that I really haven't been reading much of, and I've been catching up on my Chicho Saikyo no Deshi Kenichi volumes and my Atola Rude volumes. And I'm not really going to talk too much about that because I don't feel like grabbing all those volumes off the shelves. But... Anyway, I've already read all of Shijo Saiko no Deshi Kenichi up to date. I'm just rereading it, so I don't have much to say about that. And I don't have really much to say about Toa Love Rue because uh, I really haven't read that much into it. I'm probably only about halfway through the original Toa Love Rue series, and I am completely up to date on the Toa Love Rue Darkness series. So I, I skip around, actually. I'm one of those guys. Ah, I'm trying to think of something else that I've been reading. I caught up on all my One Piece volumes recently, so that's nothing to talk about. I need to catch up on one more Spice and Wolf volume, and then I'll be completely up to date. Uh, I'm up to date on Attack on Titan, Bloody Monday, and Missions of Love, and Sonic Correa. Yeah, so I really don't have that much left to talk about, and I don't really feel like making full reviews or anything like that as of yet. So you're going to have to stick with vlog videos for a while. So here I am signing off. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one later.